We got the Hart Foundation taking on Cody Harris and Brent. Oh, Brent has uh, already aligned himself with Cody Harris, maybe because of the sheer dominance he displayed against the Hart Foundation back to back weeks. Yeah. You're a strong competitor, I'm a strong competitor. Yeah, let's compete together. Yeah. Oh, wow. Saw so them shake hands. Crucifix. It's a crucifix takedown. Cody Harris is not playing. No. Absolutely not. Check out Cody Harris's YouTube channel. I need to put a link to my description here. I ain't mad at that great. No. Oh, Bret Hart with a smack breakout. Time to the concrete. Oh, that's These guys have done really good at isolating one member of the Hart Foundation. Yeah. Keeping them away from the Alpha Alpha. Yeah. Another neck breaker. The anvil was looking into the ring for a weapon. Brent just throwing everybody. Coming over to the ropes. I love that. Oh, oh they're nice and super. Release. There's too much action to follow. It's out of control. It's a giant bulldog. Nice. These guys are just... The Heart Foundation is just at the mercy of these two. Really? Almost oh, the same Sleeper hole locked in by Cody Harris. Oh, oh, jawbreaker. That breaks out. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. <laughs> It looked like it was. Either the midsection and then the clothesline. That man's bringing the ladder into the equation. I don't know what he's going to do with that. Uh, Cause some serious pain? Maybe. Let's see. Evil. Block. Cody oh. takes the ladder, throws it down. <laughs> Brent comes in with a massive spear. Oh, Hitman breaks up the cover. The ref gets <laughs> knocked down. Anvil jumps out of the ring. So Brett. Oh no. <laughs> Anvil's got a sledgehammer. He's out here looking to murder something. A different maker. Brent and Brett doing a little tango there. Oh, oh this I'm is a big boot. Boot. Cody misses a shot. And oh, then hits Brett with the face buster. Bulldog. Bulldog. Brett. Oh my god. Stop there. Where's the Anvil? Again, knocks Brent out of the way. Yeah. Oh. Brent punched Cody Harris there. Oh. Brent with the bumps. And then throws him off to the ladder. Hit him, hit him. Sure. 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 Those night breakers, they did it. The Hardy Boys take on. Cody, Brent. Yep, it is. He's holding himself. Yeah, it is. The Hardys are beaten up. Yeah. Oh, get ready for some. Zombie referee. In the way, for sure. He's real heavy. Cody, Brent. Another Hall of Fame tag team just made to look silly. Wow, that was a squash match. Ridiculous. I don't even think that was three minutes long. No. What did he do? Give him a back body drop. Boom. Got up. Said, all right. Said, all right, what? They don't even have yeah. a second replay. They're just showing. They're showing the same one again. Wow. 
And what does that do for you psychologically? Um, I mean, it makes you feel like you're on top of the league, really. I mean, for the next round, you're going to feel like you're going to be Yeah, especially when you take out legends of that with a caliber. Up next, we got Brent and Cody versus James and uh, TLE and Rare Breed. Oh, like, the start of the match never favors you. No. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's that, that, that adage where the longer the match goes, the stronger he gets. Okay, okay. Damn. He just picked you up by the head. Man, he's got rare breathing on nasty bear hug, and he didn't do the hand clap. He's in trouble. Both of these guys, they got nothing. I don't know if you guys can see the bars because of our heads. Yeah. But there's no power left on those bars. No. Brent and Cody are almost full. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. A leg drop! Oh, my goodness! Massive leg drop from the top rope. Okay, okay. Now they've isolated the POE. POE ready to fight, but he's got a oh kill the time. Right, just carrying him on the shoulders like they keep nothing. He's looking to bring this one to the down. Those are all the rope. Wait for his compulsion. He always goes back in and comes off the ring. Jumps off the apron. Going for that bag. Yeah, Theo, he says, screw this, let's get a weapon. Get the kendo stick out here. Start swinging it. But he's not going to connect. We're going to trade dance partners here. Brent's going to take that long run. Cody Harris is going to follow. Maybe sticking together, maybe that's the way. You don't end up in those two-on-one. Well, you don't end up on the wrong side of those two-on-ones. A couple weeks ago, he did lose, but that was a two-on-one situation. How are you going to win that? But right now, his power bar reads as completely full. Maybe he's just a beast. Could be. Oh, wow. Big leg drop. Cody's going to go for a pin. Where are we? I don't know. Opted to hit Brent instead of. But it paid off either way. He's going to meditate. Wow. You know, strong. Oh, now his power bar is moving. Okay. Oh, he hits his own partner. I'm telling you, that's a shaky alliance. Okay. In fighting. In fighting could cost me nothing. Oh, that was bad. Are you taking control back here? You would have a better shot. That is not fun. What an uppercut! Here we go. Rare Breed's got the sledgehammer. Yeah, we going for a pin. Big leg drop. He's gonna go for a pin. He's gonna get him with that giant leg drop. He's gonna pin rare breed for three. Oh, oh. That right there. I don't know what that's called. Oh, Brent, if you're watching, let me know what that move's called. Name your moves, fellas. Yeah. There we go. Securing their spot yeah. at even challenges. Coming out of it with authority. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Into a pin. Him, that was a three count. No That's a four count. <laughs> That's a. Wow. What? Here we go. The uh, the winners of the Sweet 16 Quarantine Title Tournament earning a shot at the Quarantine Titles. Tornado match here. 
Cody Harris going immediately for that sharpshooter. Mr. Perfect's kid. Oh, man. Ironically enough, perfect. That power bar. Wow! <laughs> okay, so it's elimination, so that's one. That was not expected at all. I just blew my vocal cords with that one. <laughs> Two on one situation. Okay. Oh, Dallas left alone in the ring with Brent and Cody Harris. Cody Harris just standing there watching Brent get pinned. Yeah, he knows. He knows it's going to take more than that to take his partner down. This is not a good spot right now if you're Bo Dallas. <laughs> not at all, especially since Cody Harris is halfing up the crowd now. Yeah. You're going to let Brent have a little fun. Oh my goodness, this was unanticipated. Now the B team, no slouch. They've held those foreign team titles for a while too. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, how, didn't they have it all season? Yeah, well, yeah. Last season? They, haven't, they haven't defended them in me and the boys wrestling. <laughs> True. <laughs> They're just leftovers basically from QLW, but the caliber of talent here at me and the boys versus what we were doing over on Quarantine League Wrestling is obviously a level up. At least one level up. Powerbomb. Jesus, merciful Messiah. Now, who the hell is going to take the belts off these guys? So these guys should have been dominant, and they were. Both men raising belts. Brent's uh, first title in Me and the Boys, I'm pretty sure. Okay, okay. And definitely okay, Cody Harris's first. Cody just stands there. Cody wasn't worried about it, I guess. Is that a three? Brent is out of this match. It is an elimination tag team match. And two on one. Cody Harrison is really rough spot here. This is not good for a champion. You got to leave the tag titles on the at this point. Cody Harris fights back. The high knee lift. Taking almost no damage whatsoever. <laughs> Does he have like three different shades of green? That's the second pedigree he's taking. Oh, he's the first. Well, the rent took one. Yes. Oh, here we go. Maybe I'm just he does take damage. I think this is the first time we've seen any damage on Cody Harris. He's gonna get him. And he got him. Two pedigrees in a row. And new. And new. Quarantine lead tag title holder. Court. Yeah. That's good. Wow. I just came to oh, no. mess around here. So two of the closest friends I've ever had. I made them fight. Cody, though, I love it. Cody, Cody, I've known for only 22 years. Or Kennedy, I've known for man, 25 years. Yeah. Wow. So like, I've combined them for 50 years. Well, I mean, but I'm not 50. But combined, <laughs> combined, a 50 yep. years, yep. you know, yeah. that's pretty good. Here we go. Oh, here we are, Cody. It looks like man, the Hitman, Cody Harris. Except for the statue, like I said, like Cody and I both exchanged clothes. Cody is not that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's gotten a little bigger with COVID, but, you know. Oh, but, yeah, but it's, but it's pretty good. Like, Oh my God, that's a Tommy. No way. The Tommy is here. here. 
I love it. Is he? Oh my! He has a giant down. lollipop and he's going after the yeah. biggest dog in the yard. It's hard for me to remember that Cody's kind of a team. <laughs> we were tag team partners. That's right. Pops yeah, Cody in his head and he so before he gets killed. Yeah. <laughs> oh my! Lollipop. It shot me just merciless with the lollipop. Alright, yeah. this is non stop. This is the, this is the, oh man. And somehow, in a match between Cody Harris and Kennedy, the Itami is declared yeah. the winner. Yeah, I love how that happens. So what is happening? And if you look here, the committee just got a point for that Itami victory. Because? Itami's on our team. No. Itami is part of the committee. Amazing. Yeah. Up next, a four-way table match. Look at this, though. Cody and Brent. And of course, the warrior captain of the Dubs team, former partners. Former partners squaring off against each other. They go right after each other. Yeah. I love love between the two. Yeah, once those title belts, once that title reign was over, I don't know. It's been shaky. Yeah. Uh, who was it that got hit? Definitely knew. cause some issues or be a good show for us to have Brent and Cody Harris in there at the same time as well. That's what brother put in all the clinic. Yeah. Well, these guys know each other so well. I mean, they're tag partners. Warriors got a, uh, an opportunity here. Brent is taking out play times. He's up in the ropes. Okay, so many football glitch game ever. Uh, Lord Harris reverses, drops a dead elbow into the warrior's shoulder. Warrior quietly puts Cody Harris on the table. It looks like he's about to explode or hip to it. Oh power slam. It's a big power slam through the table, the ultimate warrior. Picking up a big win for the Dubs. Oh wow, that's awesome. That is, that's a surprising finish with all yes. those with all those talents in the ring. And Jack, that was wow. Yeah, that looked like he was going through the table, but Brent ran into him. Yeah. It didn't matter. He ended up going through the table anyway. Boom! Oh, uh, the Ultimate Warrior. In our main event, an elimination chamber for the Me and the Boys title, where we saw Cody Harris finally get his hands on that gold. And knew, I'm coming for you. <laughs> DMP finally dethroned after all these weeks and months. The longest reigning Me and the Boys champion. You gotta give him credit. I wanted to be the one to take it from him, but you know, I can't do everything. It was a beautiful title. It was wonderful. Like, I, like, there was three matches for sure where I thought, yep, he's gonna lose. No, he didn't lose it. Yep, he's gonna lose. No, he's gonna lose it. No, he didn't lose it. Like, and nobody wanted to cash in on this man. I'm telling you, like, what are y'all doing? And then, and now, now y'all gotta deal with, now y'all gotta deal with Cody. <laughs> like, oh my God, the hyperplex. I'm telling you, the hyperplex, you don't want that. Check this out. This is a tr number one contender's thr triple threat match between Brent, the Block, and Holden. Okay, speaking of that guy. That is um, not what the picture said whatsoever. The picture said something completely contrary to that. I think Holden was the only one that was right. Yeah, unbelievable. Brent I wasn't in there. I don't understand. It's like, hey, this colored guy looks like that colored guy. Let's just swap them. <laughs> Nonetheless, one of these three fellas is going to earn themselves a title shot to take on Cody Harris on our next episode, the season finale of season three. Well, here's hoping it's not Well, we'll see what happens. I know as a commentator, I'm supposed to be unbiased, but I do. So, uh, we got Brent on the rope, and uh, looks like, uh oh but, ooh, just <laughs> late disrespectful throw of both of us. Yeah, Brent just throwing men kick. around the ring. 
back kick. It's pretty much done. The hold it is already burning. Hold it, yeah. How did that happen so fast? <laughs> so fast. Wow. This has been 45 seconds into the match. Fresh is about to power bomb. Nope, that's not even a power bomb. Hold it, that's a bomb of power. Finally. <laughs> Wow. Good, good ring awareness. Definitely. This is for a title shot here. There's lots on the line. Still no bite, but we appreciate it after. Brent going for a pin. Rock needs to get up. Rock did not just get up. Taking a nap. <laughs> Brent wins this match and he's going to go on to face Cody Harris, former tag team partner. He's going to go at it for the Me and the Boys title and what will inevitably be the main event of our season finale. Story rivalry comes Amazing how that worked out for us. It, is that not? <laughs> did we not have conversation about what it would be like if they had a conflict? Yeah. Yeah, this is It'd what it would great. be like. Yeah. Cody yeah. Harris has been, obviously, Cody Harris doing Cody Harris things. But Brent, sneakily, we've been watching him just choke slam guys out of the Royal Rumble for the last few weeks. Yep. It's like been on fire.